Previously on Phoenix Wright's Spirit of Justice. We're gonna get an Edgeworth jump scare. Dad, you hear something? Ah! My God, what kind of horrible beast is that? Ah! Every naked butthole. Ah! It's the La Chupacabra. No, Dad, it's the La Chupacabra worth. Ah! And now back to channeling people. Hey! Sneako B, back with some more Phoenix Wright's Spirit of Justice. We last left off. Oh my God. The most epic battle in all of fucking history. That's right, it's Apollo versus Phoenix Wright. Who will win? It better be Apollo. I want to see Apollo curb stomp the shit out of Phoenix. Leave his dead life and his body to hang in the fucking mantle of ju the judge's office. Ah, oh, yes, good. I remember hunting this prey right here. It was, it was a tough one. It took many, many games, but I finally got him. Ah, oh, little shit. <laughs> Didn't go down without a fight, though. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so ready. But yes, you guys clarified, it, it's basically civil court. So like Judge Judy, like the ones you see on television where uh, it's not really a case of murder or anything, it's just a civil dispute. So basically two defense attorneys going against each other. That's cool, it's, it's new, you know? It's something we've never done before in a Phoenix Wright game. Now, I do think that Phoenix is doing this uh, not because he's really like, trying to like get some shit out of Apollo. I, I, it seemed like to me he was setting me up, right? He was in there, he's like, clearly we must have a trial. Uh, I don't know, I mean, I think we could probably like, talk this out or no, we have to have a trial, it's the only way. I think he's setting this up to maybe get some more information of Addison or something. Like he feels like only a trial can do it or something. I, I, I mean, he knows who Dirk is. We just got through like sympathizing with the rebels and their plight, so. I'm sure he's not like really out against Dirk either. I don't really know for certain if he's really gonna be going like all out crazy Phoenix, ah, uh, going in my brain, diving in, or if he's just kind of playing along to, to get us some information. I mean, I hope it's serious. I want to, cause I want to see Apollo crush Phoenix in his full fucking power, but we shall see. Anyway, you guys were nice enough to tell me that uh, th this uh, next one, uh, there's no save point in the middle. So <laughs> there's random fucking save points in this game, Jesus. But thank you for telling me that. Uh, so. They, there's a point where they have they, like convene back to the defendant lobby, uh, and they say that's about like 60 to 80 minutes in, so that might be a good place to stop. Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> I saw lighting in the comments saying, It's Ace Attorney Civil War! Oh my god! Oh my god, you're so right! <laughs> I saw another one you say, like, like Man, it must have been really awkward and <laughs> working in the same office that night! <laughs> oh god, uh, Mr. Wright, I can feel him looking at me. He's, I can feel him breathing down my neck. Oh my god, he's literally breathing down my neck! <laughs> What are you doing, Apollo? No, this is shit. There's no way you can beat me with this pussy ass fucking strategy. Duh! Chucks out the window. No! Phoenix walks away. He's like, eh, good thing I tossed that away. Could have totally beat me with that strategy. <laughs> but anyway, all right. Trial day one of the Turbine Revolution. So I, it does seem like this is probably just going to be like a, in a side thing. I mean, I, I'm sure we're going to focus, go back to Nayuda and stuff. And I mean, just, but just the fact that we do seem to be having like a, a pre-main trial trial does sort of indicate that this really is going to be a long case. Let's get started. I mean, I guess it's just going to be the regular judge, right? They wouldn't have, like, a specific judge for these kinds of cases. Uh, May 17th, 10.08 a.m., District Court, finding number number three. Just so you know, I'm not going to take sides, but I pick Apollo. Yay! Fuck you, Trissy! You're not my daughter anymore! Message received, loud and clear. Good, because I don't like this one bit. You and Daddy should be on the same team. S sorry, Trucy. Uh, it's really mad. Ah, I'm gonna get you! Ah! I'll put you in my magic panties and send you into another dimension. I'm sorry too, little lady. This is all my fault. I'm just worried things will never be the same between Daddy and Apollo. I mean... To be honest, though, your dad has treated me like shit forever, so, you know, this is kind of payback. Yeah, that's true. They go through with this. Is that all? Well, I wouldn't worry about that. That's the way it is with us men. We may fight, but we don't burn bridges. Really? Yeah, I'd say that to Nyuta, though. <laughs> sure. Well, maybe we're trading blows. Next, we're having drinks together. We're simple creatures at heart. Ha ha! Ah. <laughs> it's not funny, Dirk! She hope you're right. I'm sorry I'm late, Apollo! Oh god, Athena, you're still in this game? Yes, I'm here! I'm still relevant. Now go away, I miss Blackwell. Athena, there you are! 
What happened with you and Mr. Wright yesterday? Where did you drive off to? Oh, about that. I didn't have to go in the to the wrong airport. I was waiting there thinking his flight was really late. And before I knew it, I dozed off. By the time I woke up, it was already dark. I figured like something like that had happened. Really? You figured that exact scenario? Being late and dozing off for the two days you do best. Ah, guilty as charged. So then I take it you have no idea what today's case is about. Not a clue. <laughs> what else is new? Just like the last case I was in. Sorry. Um, what is today's case about, if I might ask? Another locked mystery. The suspect with a flimsy alibi. Ooh, a dying message. Wow, Athena, are you saying our series is becoming stale? No, but, you know, it's happened a few times. <laughs> Especially that dying message one. Hey, remember that guy from Apollo Justice? Oh, no, no, flashback to me again. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, strike three, you're out. It's a civil case. Never had one of those, ever, in the history of Phoenix Wright. And in, any, in this universe, has never happened. Civil case, what's that? <laughs> you act like I'm speaking Swahili here. It's just the Wright Anything Agency specializes in criminal law. Or so I thought. In civil cases, there are no prosecutors, right? Instead, both parties retain an attorney. Right. And the other attorney is someone you know very well. Really? Who? The trial begins shortly. Get your sexy asses in here. Please proceed to the courtroom at once. Come on. Especially you, Athena, with your big old thick thighs. Thank you! Finally, someone recognizes my thickness. Okay, let's do this. Follow wait! Who's the other attorney? Where's Mr. Wright? <laughs> no time to explain. It's Mr. Wright. I could just literally say that. Let's go. Okay, right behind you! I'm here to see, I mean... It, it doesn't seem like Phoenix brought Maya back, but it'd be funny if, if he did, and she's up there with him right now. <laughs> oh my god, it's the new generation for this is the old. May 17th, 10.30 a.m., just a court, court number six. Yeah, oh, yep, it's just me. No Judge Judy today. Sorry, guys! Phoenix, what the hell are you doing on that side of the bench? You're supposed to be over here. Court is now in session. Oh, oh wow, this is, this is weird. Uh, hey, how's it going? Ah, uh, <laughs> oh, so some sort of primer session? <laughs> what, what am I doing here again? A mock trial, perhaps? Um, no, no, it's not, Your Honor. Don't you like check your schedule or something? Nah, I just gotta come in here and just go with whatever the hell's happening. <laughs> you guys can be having a birthday party and be like, yeah, all right, let's do it, baby. Oh, I got the birthday cake! It's the real deal, Your Honor. I'm gonna kill Apollo right here! Sweet, alright. So, are we gonna finally have that, like, three-way laser battle Nico was gonna do ages ago, but he never did? Piece of shit. I don't know. That, that, that'd be a lot of work, especially with this 3D graphics. Shut up! Stop being a lazy asshole, Apollo. Do it! Just fucking do it! Ah, oh, so wait. Then you two have had a falling out. I won't have you using my courtroom for that, you know. <laughs> it's nothing like that, Your Honor. Blah. Exactly. Man, it does feel really weird being over here. I have never seen the left side of my body before. This must be what Edgeworth sees all the time. Just so happens that we have different clients in this case. I see. Well, here's to hoping this was no a has no adverse effect on your working relationship, but I mean, let's be honest, you guys already had a pretty strange relationship anyway. You say that again? I knew what you'd be going up against the boss today. Ah, uh, sure this is a good idea, Paulo. Don't give a shit, Vina. What? Do you want to switch sides? Honestly, I'd rather be anywhere but here right now. Well, at least she is here. I'm really gonna need her help. You're gonna die, Obama! Not if you die first, Mr. Wright! Okay, alright, Jesus Christ, it is spicier than a fucking chimichanga in here, baby, huh? Mr. Justice. Y yes Don't explain me to pull any punches because you're the opposing lawyer. As I said, the kid gloves are off. And what come what may, they will stay up! Same here, Mr. Wright. If it's a fight you want, it's a fight you'll get! Yes, good! Uh, uh. Come on, Paolo, do, do it! it. Kill, Kill him. him! No, not yet, Gato! I gotta wait for the right time! <laughs> Even the audience is like, what's going on, dude? Yeesh, you guys are really chomping at the bit, are you? Hmm, don't mind a good fight between co-workers. Just keep it a civil, a civil case, guys. Foul one, fight! Ding! All right, let's go! Now that if the plaintiff would take the stand, we may begin. 
God, it's been 83 years since I last did a civil case. Oh my God, he's still in the thing. Right, left, right, left. Oh! Because they were like, fuck trying to animate me and my legs. <laughs> Noble judge, members of the gallery, good day to you. I am Paul Addison. This is but the start of my epic campaign, and you all have the honor of witnessing it. I believe the youth of this country are very future. Too long have they been looked down on and given the cold shoulder. So to them I say. Ask not what you can do for your country. Ask what your country can do for me. <laughs> Mr. Hassan, is that what he just said? Ask what you can do for me. <laughs> Mr. Hassan, what is this crazy contraption you're running in? And where can I buy one? <laughs> it's my custom-made election-winning campaign mobile. Beautiful, isn't it? No, get that shit out of here. You're in a witness stand, not a campaign podium. So come out of there this instant! <laughs> oh, I actually, I'm getting out of this thing. Okay. <laughs> but I'm keeping my name tag. Fine, you keep your name tag. Whatever. All right. Up with a plaintiff's attorney, Mr. Wright. Wait, what do, what do I do? <laughs> Seriously, it's been so long. Please explain the complaint against filing against the defendant. Blah. Mr. Addison's complaint against the defendant is simple. He wants his ball back. Defendant, one Dirk Samadhi. Stole my client's family heirloom. Crystal Lamy Fay. Mr. Addison merely seeks his return. This wouldn't have happened if that archaeologist hadn't kicked the bucket. I see. Well, Mr. Addison, let's have your opening statement if you would. The defense asserts the item in question is the Founder's Orb, a sick relic from Karain. Hmm, go on. Seems someone asked an archaeologist, Dr. Archie Buff, to study the orb. Dr. Buff determined that it was a Karainese national treasure known as the Founder's Orb. The very orb that was stolen from a treasure room in Karain several weeks ago. Why oh, yes, I saw a news report about, about that. The theft of a Karainese national treasure caused quite an uproar in the kingdom. Well, we believe that it was not, in fact, a theft in the traditional sense. But rather, that it was spirited out of Karain. I saw him for Dr. Buff to study. Oh, spare away, I love that fucking movie. You don't say. And? Around that time, an acquaintance of the defendant learned of Dr. Buff. Make contact with the doctor. Agreed to hand over the ore. Totally not against his will either. Apparently, the doctor wanted nothing to do with it once he learned it had been stolen. Mm. Seems you even have a transfer agreement between both parties. So it seems like the argument is that we're just calling it two different things. It, it could it be both, I guess? But why is the other guy so sure it's the Crystal of Ami Fey? Or maybe it, it, it could be suggesting then that the the Holy Mother is it, is it actually Ami Fey? Is is that? be interesting but she's only supposed to be like the grandmother of uh uh of maya right like i think fig i figured the holy mother was like someone who's been around for much longer than just like a couple of generations mr samadhi also agreed to return the founder's orb to the kingdom of karain once the doctor verified it was the real thing i see so this dispute centers on whether the item in question is the founder's orb or the crystal of Ami fey that in turn will determine the object's rightful owner how the fuck are we supposed to figure this out? I better bring my A-game. Going against Mr. Wright won't be a walk in the park. Hmm. Come to think of it. Name Dirk somebody sounds awfully familiar. Dirk! But I can't recall where I've heard it. Oh, um, it's probably your imagination. He's my deadbeat dad. Oh, okay, yeah, we've had plenty of those in these series. Good lord. Your honor, he's just a tourist after all. I don't know. He's got a cool-ass eye patch and ponytail and a freaking sling. Okay, my, my imagination, you say? Are you sure about this, Apollo? He's a wanted criminal in Karain, isn't he? <laughs> Wait, what did she say? <laughs> Why, can you say it any louder, Thena? Karain, yes. Here, he's just a tourist. Very well, let's begin the proceedings. Bailiff! Yes, Sudgy. Would you bring in the first witness? <laughs> All right. Uh, who am I getting, Emma? It's almost always Emma. Yes, sir. Oh, look at them legs, baby. Oh, yeah. I'm seeing a lot of people in the comments saying I'm the best Wafu. And for that, I thank you. Emma? 
Show some manners. We're in co court. I know, it's just... It's a civil trial. So I was surprised to see a detective take the stand. I had her do some digging on Dr. Buff. What for? You disappoint me, Apollo. First you know I'm not just a detective. I'm a forensic scientist. Do try to remember that. Second, you owe Mr. Wright an apology. After all, he's done for you. You have some nerve. Wh wh what? <laughs> After all, I've... He's done for me? How about all that he's done to me? First, I'm sorry, and second, no. And I'm really just trying to do my job. Never get anywhere with that attitude. Take some advice from someone who's been there. Why do I feel like I'm, I'm on trial here? Will you two shut the fuck up and get on with it? Take a sky your testimony if you please. Oh, is this our detective? The doctor's dark secret. Police have had their eyes on Dr. Buff for some time. Just today, a number of stolen artifacts were discovered in his study. Oh! It did seem odd to me that uh, a lot of the things that we saw from previous games, like, I'm like, he managed to acquire these things? I figured maybe we were going to go to a museum at some point, but, like, the urn? The sacred urn of Ami Fei? That statue with the freaking sword? I mean, I guess we are in Koran Village. But it's still, it's just hard to believe that an outsider would be able to get access to it. Among them were a processor and a statue that was told for the fake land. There we go. Yeah, so it was like. <laughs> I, okay, all right. That makes me feel a little better. Not to mention the vomit stain on that uh, that uh, scroll over there. <laughs> Pearl just comes out. Uh, it's gravy, actually. Seems the doctor would do anything to study artifacts, including steal them. As for the relic at the center of this dispute, I feel like I stole from Madison's re residence. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> doctor is a thief? Ah, f fuck! Why am I just hearing about this now? Well, that burglar is something he put on his resume. He was more careful than that. The fact is, he was a classic treasure hunter. Like Nathan Drake! Damn it! Nolan North! Treasure hunter, huh? Like people who have thrilling adventures in exotic places, risking life and limb for glory, and have to do quick time events to make cool shit happen. I doubt Dr. Buff was the star of his own hit movie series, Athena. Not like Nicolas Cage. Out of respect for the dead, I will say that Dr. Buff wasn't doing it to get rich. Apparently, he only wanted to borrow artifacts to study them. We then returned them as soon as his research was finished. Oh, okay. Born to the doctor, doctor's child. He would even repair or restore some of the artifacts he stole before returning them. He believed he was honoring the dead by discovering their history through artifacts. But whatever lofty ideals he held, it makes no difference. Somebody say lofty! No, get out of here! Larceny's larceny! Yes, he certainly sounds so different from a regular thief to me. We've had a lot of those in these games. So let's say for a moment that the doctor really did moonlight and stealing artifacts. Why do you not have stolen the Founders Orb and Cryene and brought it back here himself? Nope! <laughs> nope, Apollo! There's no record of him traveling or receivers over the past few years. Plus, he can very well leave his reclusive child at home all alone. Hmm, this really must be the Crystal Lobby Fay! Blah! Yes, they stole it from the Addison residence. Probably so we could study it. Ah, uh, well, this is good. It's the left hook I did not need. I mean, you never saw that coming, Paulo! Wait, what'd you say? I said you never saw it coming! Yeah, Mr. Rice said the kid gloves were off. He wasn't kidding. About to get wrecked, son! <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is! Mr. Justice, you about to die today? You may proceed with your cross-examination. Alright, probably I'm doing a lot of pressing here. That's what we pretty much always do with the detectives, to get glean more information. Okay, Dr. Stark's secret. Police have had their eyes on Dr. Buff for Hold some it. time. Hold it! What does that mean, eyes? How did Dr. Buff rouse the suspicion of the police anyway? Chalk it up to good old-fashioned sleuthing. After investigating countless artifact thefts over the past few years, the police finally zeroed in on him, and the doctor became their prime suspect. A number of those artifact thefts occurred in Koran Village, too, if I might add. And they started right around the time the doctor moved there. But he was never arrested. I take it there was nothing concrete linking him to a crime. No, which is why we were never able to get a search warrant in the first place. I mean, 
Really? Like, you couldn't even just, like... Remember that big window in his house? You could just look through the window and hit. Hey, look! There it is! I see the urn and the giant statue! I didn't even have any curtains on it. It's hard to attest arrest artifact thieves unless you catch them red handed. Still, the police had him under constant surveillance. And just today, a number of stolen artifacts were discovered in the study. Are you sure these allegedly stolen artifacts are the real deal? They're not fakes, that's for sure. Take the urn, for example. Apparently, it's an extremely intricate work of art. Really? It looks kind of gross to me. <laughs> Mike could say, Hey! I did my best to put it back together! It's designs, cracks, and other features would be impossible to replicate perfectly. Actually, I've had a few run-ins with that urn myself. <laughs> I, can't, I can't get away from this fucking thing! So I was shocked to see it there in the doctor's study. As much as I'm sure the player was, too. I can say without a doubt, that urn was stolen from the fake clan. Yeah, I see. And that sword is what uh, Gato used to kill somebody at the end of the uh, thir the third game. Wait, you know Gato? Yeah. Why, do you? Oh, uh, no. Yes, yes good. good. Can't, Can't tell them. They, they must, must never know. know. Wait, you killed a guy? Eh. Yeah, yeah, I was, I was bored. bored. Dr. Sky, please continue with the testimony if you would. Among them were a priceless urn and a statue that were stolen from the fake land. Were any other stolen artifacts found beside those belongings to the Fae? The Fae's? Yes, for instance... Remember the large relief on the wall? It was chiseled out of some ancient ruins in the Kingdom of Karayin several years ago. Oh. Uh, oh. Was that... Uh, chis chiseled out? Did we actually come across that? Is that like at the... the side of, uh... Prayer or whatever. Didn't that damage it? Well, he did restore the parts that were so faded you could barely see them anymore. Seems he intended to return it someday. So one could say his intentions were good. Yeah, didn't that kind of like destroy his the historical record of it a bit? I mean, like quote unquote restoring it, but in the end you're you're making it look like how you imagine it looked, right? Which may not be totally correct. Good intentions are no get out jail free card. That's a fact that's a fact. But my dad, with respect for the deceased, the quality of the restoration was apparently exceptional. Seems the doctor invested a lot of money and hired an extremely talented specialist. What about that urn? It's still covered in Pepto. Sounds like a good man. It took a wrong turn somewhere. <laughs> with some really bad obsessive tendencies. I guess Sarge takes after him in that way. Any further questions? If not... It seems the doctor would do anything to study artifacts before they steal them. Have these alleged thefts been going on for some time? At least five years, as far as we can tell. All well, the recent thefts have been local. But before moving to Karant Village, he'd been stealing from ruins around the world. Dr. Buff is an international criminal? The state lends itself to one, but one conclusion. Dr. Buff was a thief. As for the relic at the center of the dispute, he likely stole from the Addison residence. You claim he stole a family heirloom from the Addison residence. But claiming something doesn't make it true. Unfortunately, it is true. How can you be so sure? A police report was filed concerning the theft. One year ago, in fact. Yeah, what? A whole year ago? August 25th of last year, to be exact. The report states, and I quote, Crystal Vami Fay was discovered to be missing. From the Aston storehouse at 10 a.m., the storehouse lock had been picked. Why does he even have it to begin with? Signed, Paul Addison Whipperson. Whipperson. <laughs> wait, 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 I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I can see why you don't include that last part on your, uh, on your campaign trail. Well, a year old report certainly lends the plaintiff's claim credence. The doctor could really have stolen the Crystal Lobby Fang! Not only that, Your Honor, but the Founder's Orb was only found to be missing several weeks ago. That is nearly a year after the Crystal's theft was reported. Therefore, I believe we must consider the Orb and the Crystal to be the, t 
two separate items. I suppose the, the point we're going to try to make is that it is the stolen or meaning that he stole it himself, so it doesn't matter, right, whether the doctor stole it. Paul Hassan Whipperson? Not the most awe-inspiring tail end, is it? I see why he cut it. <laughs> Not that he inspires confidence without it. Still, I probably do the same in his shoes. He doesn't have a powerful last name like Justice! Okay, a report filed a year ago about Paul Orson by the theft for the theft of the Crystal Lobby Fay. Police report was filed about the Crystal's theft a year ago. The theft of the Founder's Orb was only reported a few weeks ago. So the Crystal's police report was filed way before the orb was found missing. It's just a stolen relic as the Crystal of Ami Fay, as Mr. Addison Whipperson asserts. Hmm, the other police report is a fake. After all, Emma is the one who submitted it as evidence. Still, I feel like something we learned in that police report is important somehow. It's the change of his name, right? So, oh, oh, clever, very clever. This, Paul Addison Whipperson, P-A-W-711 at N-Mail. It's this, the email they received how, asking how his research was coming along. Meaning that he didn't get to steal it, he lent it to him. Come on, baby. Objection! Ah, oh, yeah, that's the stuff! Doctor stole the relic from the plaintiff. Are you sure? Because that statement doesn't agree with a certain piece of evidence. What, what do you mean? Take a look at this. What about it? This contains an email from the doctor's computer. Email? In that little piece of plastic? My god! You caved in your crazy rap music! Wait, what am I talking about? I'm afraid I don't understand! Oh, um... This stick here can store all sorts of computer data. <laughs> I, I still don't get it! Please go into elaborate detail about it, Apollo! Explain the mechanics behind everything! I, I don't know, alright? You're just look at this! Oh, look at that! That's cool! Apparently, the doctor was reporting his research findings to a certain individual. Now, take a look at this. It's the police report Detective Sky presented to this court. You can see the plaintiff's legal name on it. Paul Addis Addison Whipperson. I can see why he dropped the Whipperson from his name, but that's hardly breaking news. Look closer, Your Honor. Mmm. <laughs> Ha! Right. Place his full legal name is Paul Addison Whipperson. Now consider this. The email's recipient address starts with the three letters. P A W. P A W. <laughs> you know, I like how everyone. I just like think of the other day. Everybody screams in these trials, <laughs> whether you're the a defense or the, the prosecution or the judge or the person at the stand. <laughs> I just like to try to imagine how that'd be like in a real trial. Like imagine a judge up there like, I have sentenced you to 30 years in prison. But wait, I have new evidence to suggest uh, that I wasn't, wasn't really this guy. I just goes, ah! <laughs> Whoa, your honor. <laughs> yeah, courtrooms are funny. Oh, but I will it. I will anyway. The individual who hired the doctor to study the disputed item. Ugh! It's none other than Paul Addison Whipperson. Wait, th th that means? Exactly. He wouldn't have asked the man who stole his family heirloom to study it. Therefore, how could this possibly be the Crystal Lobby Fake? Ah! Oh, yeah. Oh, in your face. I never checked the doctor's emails. I couldn't even figure out the password to his computer. Plaintiff willingly left the orb in the doctor's care so he could study it. At the behest of his benefactor. Wait. Then what about the police report? I have all the details of the theft right here. It's probably for another relic. The real Crystal Lamy Fay. Just using the report as a way to claim that our orb is actually a stolen crystal. Objection! Ugh. No, Apollo! How are you so certain that P-A-W refers to my client's initials? Maybe the email's recipient was a dog lover! Perhaps. So let's get to you know your client a little better, shall we? Mr. Paul Addison Whipperson! 
Oh, I walked up here myself. I'm, yeah, there we go. It's <laughs> shutting down detractors is all part of a politician's job. Answer me this, Mr. Addison, what percent? What is? Your shoe size! Your favorite food, your birthday. Oh, your birthday. Where's your birthday? My birthday, it's July 11th. What's that guy? What's it to you? Oh, I see. You can address birthday gifts to my office. For full disclosure, I only accept gifts valued at $1,000 or more. Wow, that guy, this guy wasn't paying any attention to what we've been doing up here. Oh my god, you stupid fucking asshole. <laughs> hmm? Why has everyone gone silent? How can anyone be that self-centered? Oh, right. Politician. Did everyone hear that? Everybody! He said July 11th. July 11th, or rather, 7-Eleven! Also, my favorite place to get a taco! Match the na numbers and the email address. Get a slushy after this. But the name and the birthday are a match. I hardly think that's a coincidence. Wait. Are you sneaky little? <laughs> you clever little snee! It's like someone finally decided to join the conversation. Would the plaintiff care to explain? I, I would like to say that, that, that is qu quite, quite what? Qu qu quite a, a, a thing you, you've said. That's a not that's a politician answer, right? By giving a very non-answer to a question. That's to answer hard questions. You just misdirected people. They're like, hey, like, look at that over there, guys! They're like, oh! Anyway, my time's up. Um, any other thoughts? No for the comments. I stand by my previous statement. Thank you. Farewell. <laughs> Hold it! You can't just walk away! Politicians have to explain themselves in a court of law. I'm afraid I simply don't know how it happened. I can't possibly explain matters outside of my purview. Perhaps it was a mistake on the part of my secretary. Oh, no you don't, motherfucker, you slippery little eel. Mr. Wright, would you care to respond? Ah. Uh, I won't argue your assertion. My client let the treasure in question to the doctor and asked him to study it. Blah! It seems that much is a fact. Now we're getting somewhere. I was gonna say, so what though, right? However, there's no bearing the issue of ownership. How so? Mr. Addison, I fully understand your position here. You had to hide the fact that you sent the crystal out to be studied. Your family would have been very upset if they'd found out. It's a family heirloom, after all. You gotta be kidding me. Mr. Wright is well, well, right of course. But then, he always is. That's why he's my lawyer. Crystal is a precious Addison family heirloom, and has been has been for centuries. But Dr. Buff is so eager to study it. It's proud heritage. I just couldn't say no. I didn't even tell my gra my grandfather. But in order to win the backing of your so-called benefactor, you were going to give what you claim to be the Crystal of Ami Fate to that person. You were going to give a precious family heirloom away, just like that. I'm just going to explain everything to Grandfather later. Honest! My client's grandfather is, a very, is very proud of his grandson for following in his footsteps. And refusing him would have meant dashing the dreams of his darling grandson. I doubt the kindly old man could have said no. Well, grandchildren are meant to be spoiled! <laughs> I wouldn't know though! I get my grandchildren pine cones for Christmas! Anyway, that's what grandfathers are for! Your Honor, please! I mean, it's been the family for centuries. My grandfather thinks highly of my talents as a politician. That's why he entrusted me with this very important name placard today. <laughs> Where's the second half of it? <laughs> with the whippers. <laughs> a little dopey smile of his. So I'm sure he would have been okay with me using the crystal as I saw fit. Ah! Grandpa spoiled little prat! I think the judge is buying it, Buffalo. I know he is. No surprise there. He's always going on about his own grandchild, after all. Little shit. Excuse me. Can I leave now, Mr. Wright? I believe my work here is done. Yeah, fuck off, Emma. We don't need you anymore. By all means, take it to the sky. Thank you for your assistance. You're welcome. It's nice to testify to civil trial once in a while. See you around. Oh, 
nailed it. No, I'm just kidding. Hmm, these facts have changed so much. Mr. Addison Whipperson. Apparently not his family heirloom to Dr. Ruff. Mr. Justice, how would the defendants like to defense like to proceed? Oh, um. All right, now what? Apollo, let's hear what they know about this so-called crystal lobby fay. Maybe we can find some inconsistencies in their statement. Right. Okay, then, Mr. Wright. If the item in question is really the really is the Addison family heirloom, then let's hear all your client knows about it. Of course, Mr. Addison Wilberson. Please tell me the tell the defense everything you know about the crystal's origin. All right. Now then, listen and learn. This is the tale of the Crystal of Army Fay and the illustrious history of the Addison clan. Are you ready? Our story begins back in the old country when the Addison family reigned supreme. Oh God, what have I done? It's like eight pages of testimony. The illustrious history of the Addison clan. My ancestor was praised as a benevolent ruler. He protected the spear mediums, a minority back then, from the rest of the locals. Some discriminated against them, you see, while others tried to abuse their power. As thanks, Ami Faye gave the crystal she had specially made as a gift to him. I see, okay. I'm a descendant of that great lord, Paul Addison, baby! As such, my political power and influence is backed by centuries of history. Hmm, okay. Well, that evolved into a great load of self-aggrandizing propaganda fast. As you can see, Crystal Bomb is an heirloom of the esteemed House of Addison. And you have proof that has always been in the Addison family. Blah! There's someone who gave a statement to the effect. My client's neighbor, one Eves Chinetto, age 85, gave the following statement. E Ives, Ives Chinetto. Eve, Sh Eve Shinetto. I can't hear the pun. The Addison showed me the crystal back when I was but a lad. Objection! Objection! Ugh! I don't care! Can we really trust the memory of an old man? Oh, God. Mr. Justice! Would you care to explain that statement to the judge? Oh, sh God damn it! Oh, I knew it! What did you say, you little shit? Motherfucker, you wanna die? I, I, I didn't mean... What I'm trying to say is, um... What? What are you trying to say, Paul, huh? What? You think you can take me? Bitch, come on! He just goes and takes his robe off. He's just totally shirtless and chiseled as shit. Come on, let's do this, Paul! I'm ready! Come on! I'm gonna start us off and punch himself in the face. Blood just like goozing out of his fucking nose. I'm prepared to die tonight! What about you, Apollo? Ah, no! Never underestimate the memory of your, old, your elders. I forget my verdicts the next day. <laughs> but the memories of my past are clear as day! I don't remember any of the previous games at all. Or their prosecutors, just like this Capcom. <laughs> Therefore, I find Mr. Ashinetto's statement to be perfectly credible. Wow, did you see how Mr. Wright got the judge on his side? That's definitely a trick I want on my sleeve. Uh, you're helping Athena, shut up. I cross Sam and the witness, you little fuck. I hate you now, Mr. Justice. I'm rooting for Phoenix now, Mr. Justice. Damn it. It's all right, Paulo. He'll forget about him in five minutes anyway. Okay, so thanks, Ami Faye gave the crystal she had specially made as a gift to him. Hold it! You said she she had it made. So then it was made in Japan. That's right. They say she hired a famous craftsman to make it. And they say it's quite valuable, too. And you were going to take such a priceless family heirloom and just give it to your patron? That's so typical of you ignorant common types. Making difficult decisions when the chips are down is what being a politician is all about. But only when it's in service of your own political career, you mean. The crystal is a testament to my ancestors' remarkable achievements. And furthermore... <laughs> this goofy smile there. Oh. I'm trying to say because that was made in Japan. The one he's talking about was made in Japan. This one was made in Korean, though. Objection! Yeah, there we go. Okay, they, he posted a note there on there that said this was from the the Karain founding period, right? Mima Modi from the, yeah, Karain founding period. You say that Ami Fei made the, had the crystal made for your ancestor. So I might assume it was made in Japan. That's right. The craftsmanship is unbeatable. 
Well, that's strange. I'll see how your so-called crystal could have made, been made there. What are you talking about? It's quite obvious if you take a look at this. It, ah. Take a look at this distinctive design here. According to Dr. Buff, it's a Medima motif dating back to the early days of the Kingdom of Karain. The Kingdom of Karain, hmm? And you base this on? Here. This piece of evidence, Your Honor. These are the doctor's research notes on the Founder's Orb. This is the box in which the orb was originally stored. It features the same pattern as the one on the orb. Hmm. They do look like the same pattern. Therefore, I assert that the disputed item must have been made in the Kingdom of Karain. Ah! Ah! My black Oh! Oh! <laughs> was he bending it? Just showing it wasn't made of like stone or whatever, I, I guess. The grand channeling technique originated in the current kingdom of Karain. Nami phase known to have traveled there to train. With that in mind, what's to say she didn't bring that pattern back with her? Objection! But since this is clearly a Karainese design, not even you can deny. Ugh. The possibility that was made there in the kingdom of Karain! Objection back at you! I think it's possible to some extent. That doesn't make it true. So you can't conclude the orbis from the Karain based solely on that pattern. If it were that simple, I could just as easily say it's Japanese. I have to agree with Mr. Wright. The pattern alone proves nothing. Fuck you, Judge. But also means there's no base to claim the item in dispute was made in Japan either. Hmm. At this rate, we're going nowhere fast! Ah, that's right. We're spinning our wheels here. I wonder if we have any evidence that could break the state the stalemate. Huh. Evidence that could break the stalemate. I don't think so, as we would have presented by now. Doesn't seem to be anything we can use. At least not at this point. Well, unless we can find something, and this trial won't be going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, it got damaged a little bit. Oh. <laughs> hmm, there we go. Ooh, that's much better. <laughs> oh, because it was that was handed down to him, right? So he didn't want to damage it at all. <laughs> well, you know, you're might be a douche, but at least he has some funny expressions. What's this deal? I have a suggestion. Why don't we consider this from a different angle? I'm listening. What if? The five dragons really were authorized to take possession of the, the relic. Hmm. I'm afraid I don't know where you're going with this, Mr. Wright. So the orb transfer agreement, which states, I agree to hand over the Founder's Orb to the Defiant Dragons. Who will come to, if I will come to no harm. What if, as the last part suggests, this was written under duress? I would render the agreement null and void. What are you suggesting, Mr. Wright? While you were on your little cave expedition, I was investigating Dr. Buff's accident. Ugh! <laughs> And there was something you overlooked, Mr. Justice. Namely, that his accident might have actually been MURDER! W what? Well, I knew that. I was just waiting for us to get to that part. M murder Dead! M M Mr. Wright! You do realize such statements are not to be made lightly! Are you insisting that Doctor was murdered by the Defiant Dragons? Yes. Follow me on this for a sec. The books that came tumbling down were from the archaeology shelf. However, among that bound of books was a single volume on psychology. What's more, there was some blood on it. And you feel this is important because... The books that came tumbling down were from the top shelf. The archaeology books. Oh. We know it's because the doctor's books were meticulously organized by subject. Archaeology took up the entire shelf. So that psychology book is completely out of place. Well, he could have put it in the wrong place. No, that's not good enough. Come to think of it, shelves were arranged quite carefully. It's already worth noting that psychology books only take up a tiny part of the bottom shelf. You might wonder why a book on psychology was found amid the pile of archaeology books. But I believe I can explain what that single out of place book was doing there. The doctor was struck from behind. Was selecting a psychology book from the shelf. 
And that's when the blood got in the book. Precisely. It'd make it look like an accident. It was buried under a mountain of archaeology Objection. books. Objection! Speculation! But wait a second. It's all just speculation, right? Do you have proof that it was murder? Of course I do! Don't you know who I am, Bala? Ah, oh, goddammit! Time for a good old Phoenix Wright ass pull. Y you do? On a hunch, I took a sky examine the, the doctor's head wound. She found she had been, he'd been struck by the corner of some object or another. But wait, what? A wound like that couldn't have resulted from a fall to the floor, you know. Do you understand what this means, Mr. Asses? The wound makes it crystal clear that Dr. Bump was murdered! Ah! Well, that was, une that was unexpected! Who would have thought we'd break out of the, the steel mate like this? Pull the ladder right out from under us! Still, he thinks that's enough to make me back down! He's got another thing coming! Ugh! No! I'm gonna kill him! I'm gonna kill him! Is gonna... Go! Come down, Apollo! Ah! Even if the cause of death was murder, what makes you think it was the Defiant Dragons? You should know better than to hurl baseless accusations! Objection! Objection! Did you forget what you were up against, Mr. Justice? I am the god of this world! Huh? <laughs> you forget whose name was on the cover of the box! You didn't actually think I'd come to court without witnesses and evidence, did you? And my witnesses aren't gonna end up being the killer! What? What are you talking about? I'd like to request further testimony from the plaintiff, specifically. I would like the court to hear how he saw one of the rebels leaving the crime scene. He, he, he's all. Ah! God damn it, nobody ever tells me anything. You can prove it was murder, and that's the end of our client's right to the orb. But you have to up it, have this up his sleeve the whole time. Grr, how could Mr. Wright do this to us? He's just waiting to spring this trap. That's so prosecutory. Huh. I'm evil now. Paulo, get over it. Mm, this trial is taking another unexpected turn! But I must mention, Mr. Wright, that you have yet to identify the murder we weapon! The object used to commit the murder was not located at the scene of the crime. Alright, I thought we were suggesting that it was the book. Like you smashed him in the head with the book. Murder likely disposed of it elsewhere. Stuck with a corner of some object. The time of death is between 10 a and 11 and p.m. Oh, no, no, no. I, I, I see. No, he was saying that he was struck from behind by something, and the blood spattered on the book that the uh, doctor buff was holding in his hand because he was trying to get a psychology book. I say, well, I never thought we'd be deliberating the issue of a mur mur murder in a civil trial. <laughs> we don't, I don't got to stay this way for that long. All right, Mr. Aston Wimperson, your testimony of you, please. <laughs> Things get, like, slowly more and more banged up as this trial goes on, won't it? <laughs> Prepare to be dazzled. Dazzled by my charismatic oration followers in the crucible of campaign battles. Whatever, dude. All right, the rebel's crime. The rebel scum. That evening, I was walking alone, lost in thought. Passed by the doctor's house, and that's when I saw Mr. Erebol. He was running out the front door. It was around ten at night. Surely there must have been him fleeing the scene of his crime. But for me, is a vote to end such violence. That's my promise to you. Yeah, right. So the plaintiff saw a possible suspect fleeing from the doctor's res residence. And it was within the window of the estimated time of death. You fucked, Paulo! That's a rebel. In the world were you doing then? He's a rebel, vigilante. So Mr. Re Re Mr. Rebel was loitering about the Koran village that day. There's evidence he was in the doctor's study as well. Isn't that right, Mr. Justice? <laughs> yeah. You mean the suitcase? Blah. Exactly. You must have been quite the rush to leave that behind. Oh, by the way, Your Honor, Mr. Arabal just so happened to be sitting in the gallery today. Oh. <laughs> yeah, see, that was this little nasally scream right there. See, that's him trying to escape as we speak. <laughs> get the fuck back here, you asshole. Bailiff, don't let the man get away! Oh my god, don't worry about it. I've been waiting for this moment. Come back here. Where are you, backstabber? Why are you doing this to me? Oh, 
All right. Castle slash defense may question the plaintiff slash witness once more. Yeah, so, I mean, he's turning on dance and shit. I mean, it's like, he's gone full on evil. But no, he's, he's planning something. Ah! Please receive Mr. Dostas. Okay. Bring it on, Mr. Wright. I will bring it on. You bring it on, Mr. Dostas. All right, so our 10 at night. Surely it must have been him fleeing the scene of the crime. But that time, you didn't know the doctor was dead. Is that correct? It's true that I've been known as a prodigy from a very young age. <laughs> what? Huh? I graduated high school and college with exceptional grades. A cl as class president. I performed stale old school traditions. My exploits were even covered in local papers. But as, as exceptional as I am, I can't possibly expect you to know everything at all times. This isn't working. He's bending the quest to serve his own needs. Damn it! Hello! Mr. Addison Weberset, I believe the court rule is well aware of your exceptional nature. Now, would you please continue with your testimony? <laughs> I have the upcoming election in the bag. Look at this dopey smile of mine! Okay, he's running out the front door. Did you notice anything unusual? Yes, his behavior was incredibly suspicious. His eyes were darting all around as he ran off in total panic. That's just what he's like normally all the time! As soon as I saw that, I knew he had done something, and it probably wasn't good. Despite that, you still didn't report it to the police. Who would have thought he'd killed Dr. Buff? Not me. That's why I didn't report him. So the witness didn't notify the police! Is that important? Same Mr. Assis! Of course it is! Ugh. It's always an important statement, Your Honor. Yes, it's important. Request that the witness added to his testimony. <laughs> sure, why not? I had no idea that Buff was dead. That's why I didn't call the police. Uh, we're saying he could have seen it from... If he was standing where we think he's standing, right? He could have seen it through the big window there. Objection! Ah, uh, damn it. Okay, I, I think maybe I have to determine where he was standing specifically first. I was walking alone, lost in thought. Why were you taking a walk? Society's is inundated with serious problems that must be solved. As a politician, I am always on the job, thinking hard about possible solutions, even on my walks. Um, thanks for the non-answer. How we live our comfy lives, there are starving children who suffer in the back alleys of our major cities. It's not in me to ignore such suffering. A vote for me is a vote to end hunger, and for world peace, and life and liberty and shit like that. Yes, Mr. Aston Weber said, we are all well aware of your outstanding character. Now please continue with your testimony. Okay, pass by the doctor's house, and that's when I saw Mr. Reed, a rebel. Okay, here we go. Where exactly were you when you saw Mr. Arable? Right here, under this tree. Okay, th there we go. I saw him dashing out of Dr. Bus' front door. And he didn't notice you. No, I was hidden by the tree. Is it really all that important to know from where the plane is saw Mr. Arable? Yes, it is. Yes, it, I believe it, it matters a lot. As that be, please be added to the witness's testimony. It was under this tree when I saw Mr. Arable. Okay, now, now I think I can present. I didn't call the police. The floor plan. Objection. There we go. Yeah. Mr. Addison Whipperson, rather than being, rather than Mr. Arable. Wasn't there something else that should have had your undivided attention? Like what? Oh, yes, of course. A politician must always also keep his finger on the electorate's pulse and... Sorry, shut up! But you're way off. I am? Hmm. Would you care to explain, Mr. Justice? If the witness saw Mr. A, a rebel from his position here... Then he should have also been able to see the doctor's dead, lifeless body! After all, it was right next to a huge window! Well, I believe you have a point there! The body that clearly visible to the witness. It's unthinkable that he wouldn't have reported it to the police! Ah! Mm. Would the witness care to respond? Mm. Oh, he's sleeping! Hmm. 
Did he fall asleep? Ah, Mr. Acid Wiverset? Wake the fuck up, shit state! Hmm. Uh, Mr. Acid Wiverset! <laughs> oh, um, hmm. Uh, may size to any issue. What did I ever do to deserve this? Fuck! Kill me now! In any case, I'd like the court to acknowledge the inconsistency in the witness's testimony. Mr. Addison Wimberson! Did you really see Mr. Ar Arable? <laughs> yes. Okay, bye. Hold, <laughs> Hold it! Where do you think you're going? Oh. I thought I returned to my seat, seeing as I had already answered the question. This is some small town hall, hall debate. So you just stay right there until I say we're done, we're through. You just sit your ass right there. I'll have to run that by my campaign Objection. manager. Slide. Objection! Or obje I said that. Ah, glare! Gold? <laughs> Scratch? Mr. Aston Wimperson, I think it's time for you to clump, come clean. Huh? So then. Does this mean he didn't see Mr. Arabal? As your lawyer, Mr. Addison Weber said, I advise you to divulge that matter we discussed. Silence is no longer an option. Huh. Are you sure about this? I'm in the midst of running for office. I can't afford to let any strange rumors get out. Blah! Don't worry, trust me and my blah nod. You won't suffer any blowback for what you're about to reveal. Blowback? Not sure I like the sound of that, Mr. Wright. Not to worry, Your Honor. Nothing untoward will come of this, I promise. Now then, Mr. Estes! Remember how it was an anonymous caller that reported the doctor's death? Oh. Come to think of it. Ah, shit. Emma, who was the first one to discover the body? About that. Whoever it was, seems they wanted to remain anonymous. What? Happens now and then. Some people would rather not get involved with the police. Wait, you're not saying that. Yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. The anonymous source who contacted the police after discovering the body was... <laughs> My client, Mr. Paul has no ever said. That's me! But what? You don't say. So you see, he plays part as a concerned citizen. Quite admirably, if I may say so. Isn't that right? Yes, indeed. In our society today, there are too many people who choose indifference over righteous action. But I don't number among them. That's why I did my duty as a concerned citizen. One might call me THE model citizen. One worthy of standing above the rest. Just like Tagami. What a real standard bearer he is. Reporting it anonymously. anonymously. Oh, and by the way, Mr. Justice. Wasn't there someone else to see in the crime when my client discovered the body? Oh, um, you mean Mr. Arabal? He would have been leaving the doctor's house right around then. Wait, th that means... Yes, it does. In short, well, my client's witness was Mr. Arabal fleeing the scene of a heinous murder. What? <laughs> That's not all. Based on what we've heard so far, Mr. Arabal looked exceedingly suspicious. That's putting it mildly. We already know that a fine dragon's threatened the doctor with bodily harm. And now they've killed him! The so-called orb transfer group has not avoid! No! Ah, uh, <laughs> oh, there's my derpy face. I hadn't seen that in a while. <laughs> you only see it at the tail end of his freakout face. Apollo! We don't come up with some sort of counter-argument! We're fucking boat! What sort of evidence do you have? Can you actually prove that it was Mr. Arabal who killed the doctor? That move had Desperate written all over it. It's all I got, so I'm going with it. Connect four. Evidence. Suppose it's true that I don't have any. Yeah, I, I knew it. Ha! I win. But I do have another witness. Y you do? You should know I always come fully prepared, Mr. Justice. No, you don't, you lying sack of shit. Shut up! My new witness will provide testimony approving Mr. Arabal's guilt. Yeah. A new witness? Who it could be? 
Very well. Bail it. Please summon our new witness. Okie dokie. In the meantime, the court will take a brief recess. I would like both sides to use this time to repair properly. Understood? Oh, fantastic. All right. Actually, that, that works totally, totally perfectly. Okay. You know what? That is a great place to stop it. Good idea, Piggy Penguin. I'm proud of you. <laughs> Thank you for the tip. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to end things here for now. It's off to a good start, though. I'm, in, I'm definitely enjoying it. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Just seeing fucking Apollo versus Phoenix. That's what I fucking needed. Can't wait to see what kind of crazy bullshit. I, I, I don't know. It's, it's hard to tell where this is going. Cause I, 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 I do realize this is likely just a small like part of what of the big picture, right? Which is going to be the whole Karayanese, uh royal dispute and likely what originally killed the the last queen, right? And framed Dirk. I don't really know how it's going to get to that point. Uh, as for who killed uh, Dr. Buff, I mean, there aren't really many uh, <laughs> options aside from the politician. I'm pretty sure the son didn't kill him unless he shot him down with his little uh, <laughs> his little drone. But uh, I think he seemed pretty sincere, at least based on how adorable his drone was moving. Oh, yeah. Sp speaking of which, uh, this is from a couple episodes ago. But the dr when the drone gave us uh, what I thought was hamburgers, it was actually a, it, it was a Japanese food that I've, I've already forgotten the name of. <laughs> But it's like it's like two pancakes with like like filling in the middle. <laughs> oh, okay, of course. I bet the uh, localization team was like, "Yes, perfect. These look just like hamburgers." Now we can totally get away with calling this America. But anyway, guys, hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite, and subscribe if you're not already. Right, become a picky penguin. Boy, the will be where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time. Stay classy!